Green Bay Hall of Fame coach Vince Lombardi once said to think of only three things, your God, your family and the Green Bay Packers, in that order. Ken Wochos and his three daughters spent Christmas Eve in what Packer fans would probably think is the best way possible, at Lambeau Field watching the pack tangle with the Minnesota Vikings. For this day the Fond du Lac family juggled Lombardi's mantra a bit, Packers first followed by Christmas Eve church services later in the day. Oh, and Ken Wojo's channeled Lombardi a bit more closely than many in attendance. Wearing black-rimmed glasses, a black furry hat and camel coat, he dressed up like the venerable Green Bay coach. This isn't a perfect likeness. I don't have his New England accent, said Ken Wojos, who also doesn't have Lombardi's front teeth gap. Though most people recognize his get up. Some people don't know who Vince Lombardi is, Lauren and Leslie Wojos, their sister Lindsay Kemker, and Leslie's boyfriend Joey Koenig, tailgated near Lambeau Field before the game. Noshing on sausage and drinking beer next to a small Packer-themed Christmas tree with a fragrant holiday wreath hanging from the back of their van. At the first home Packer game on Christmas Eve since 2000, thousands of Packers fans, plus some purple-clad Vikings fans, chose football over family, or football first followed by family. To many of the green and gold faithful, Lambeau Field is hallowed ground so, in a way, they were spending Christmas Eve in church. The Anders family drove up from Wanaki to spend Christmas Eve at the game courtesy of their daughter Molly who bought Packer tickets for her parents, sister, brother, brother-in-law and her husband plus decorated their tailgate spot with three small Christmas trees set out on their food and libations table as well as a string of green and gold Christmas bulbs hanging brightly from the back of their truck. A sign on the side of the truck featured green and gold garland. The Enders family says Merry Christmas and Let's Go Packers. Molly Enders also blew up photos of Aaron Rodgers and Clay Matthews. Adorned with red and white Santa hats which she pasted to sticks to wave from the stands during the game. Molly Enders, who lives in Atlanta, bought the tickets a month ago and gave them to her family last week. It's always been on my bucket list to come to a Packer game and sit in the cold, said Molly Enders. I bought the tickets for my family because I figure they all have enough socks and underwear, Philomena Enders told her daughter she nailed it, best Christmas present ever. As for spending Christmas Eve at Lambeau Field rather than church, Philomena Enders said, This is our religion. We'll say, Amen, a lot during the game, added Molly Enders. Rooney Cleek, her husband, Fred, and son, Joey, drove up from Hampshire ill, buying tickets as soon as they saw the Packers schedule and realized the team was playing at Lambeau on Christmas Eve. Though her 11-year-old son has had a Packer Santa hat for a few years, she bought a pair of Santa hats for herself and her husband to keep warm and also get into the Christmas spirit. She also purchased a string of Packer ornaments online. It's very difficult to find Packer gear in stores near her Illinois home, which she hung from a Packer tent over their table. We call coming to Lambeau is like being sprinkled with holy water, said Cleek, who became a Packer fan after marrying an Oshkosh native. A few hours before the game, they tailgated in a parking lot across from Lambeau Field, bringing a large white piece of cardboard and markers. They planned to write, Sorry, Grandma. We love the Packers more than we love ham, which is true, Cleek said. Her mother was at home and she was cooking a ham but they planned to return for leftovers because they had a game to watch at Lambeau Field first. I'm spending the day with my family at a Packer game. Actually the Packers are family, too, said Cleek. Joel Farron went to his first Packer game at Milwaukee's Old County Stadium around 1980 and has kept every ticket stub from the many Packer games he has attended. When his cousin, who lives in Green Bay, offered to enter the lottery for Brown County residents to get game tickets, Farron jumped at the chance, writing a check even though he didn't know which game he would get if his cousin was a lottery ticket winner.